He was a great champion of the 24 hours of pass. He was one of the guys with uh, Tom LaRock who did that Ustream stuff and stayed up for the whole 24 hours asking and answering questions. So please, applause for Tim Ford. <laughs> Tim, wherever you are, probably eating leftover bagels, thank you. <laughs> Grant, what? Not bagels? Bacon. 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 Grant Fritchie, there's Grant. See Grant Fritchie? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh uh, stay up, stay up. Grant, up, up, up. Grant's a man you want to know. Grant's responsible for the editorial process for the SQL Server standard uh, that we've just relaunched via the web. He's developing the workflows, he's coordinating with the tech editors, he's recruiting, he's corresponding with the authors, he's contributed to our top 10 list that passed. He was a very popular speaker for the 24 hours of pass. I guess that means he got to speak at 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> and aside from all that, he's a chapter leader. In addition, uh, Grant won the best thing I learned at the PASS Summit Award. Grant, thank you so much. Thank you. Amy Lewis, please stand up. Oh. Oh, there she is, all the way back. Where? There. Aha, uh -huh. right back there, way back there, red shirt, Amy Lewis. <laughs> Amy's a co-leader of the BI virtual chapter, and one of the things that she's done, uh, apparently BI is larger than one entity can um, be involved with. So the BI virtual chapter is actually split into uh, four BI focus groups specializing in different areas of BI. And as an example of the work that Amy puts into this chapter, as well as the other volunteers that work with her, they've logged over 20 meetings so far this year. Amy? Thank you very much. Man, you notice how all of these people who are doing all this hard work are kind of young folks? <laughs> That's okay. Jacob Sebastian, are you here? Stand up. Stand up. Jacob. Ah, ah Jacob Sebastian. Keep standing, Jacob. Jacob is heading up the PASS member outreach program in India. He has set up five or six chapters by himself. I mean, with the help of others. But he's led the uh, foundation of five or six chapters. He's a regional mentor. The regional mentor program are a group of folks who are responsible in a geographic area to assist chapters within their area. So he's a regional mentor. He speaks at the user group events in India. He was a, a speaker for 24 hours of PASS as well. Uh, his chapter, uh, the Ahmadabad SQL Server User Group, was the chapter of the month in July. He organized some uh, tech ed on the road uh, with a half-day SQL Server sessions, and his sessions drew over 200 attendees. Jacob, thank you so much. Thank you. Are we okay on time? Okay. To the Passion Award. Annually. The Passion Award is given to a, an exceptional, an exceptional volunteer. And we have so many folks who work so hard to help us all grow. The process for the Passion Award is nominees are made, um, research is done into their work, uh, then there is a vote, and then we award uh, the annual recognition for hard work. This year, we're fortunate enough to have two volunteers whose hard work and commitment to pass can't be ignored. And believe me, I've tried. <laughs> so both of these folks embody the spirit of the Passion Award. So for 2009, we're actually going to give two Passion Awards, one international and one North America. 
So for the first one of those, the 2009 International Passion Award recipient, Charlie Hanania. Charlie? Please come up. Right here. Charlie was on the European Pass Organization Committee. He's been a leader of the Swiss Pass chapter. Um, he's been with Pass for four years. He managed the 2009 Pass European Conference and notice um, he spent 600 hours to make it a success. He could have spent 550 hours and made it a failure, but you know he went the, the extra mile for everybody. <laughs> 600 hours is a third of a work year. He was in charge of all of the aspects of the event, and it was, and it has been, and continues to be, a very powerful, uh, fun, good event with lots of attendees and good content. So, for 2009 Passion Award, Charlie Hanania. Thank you so much. And uh, since Charlie doesn't have enough ribbons on him. He now gets the award winner ribbon to add to the short line of ribbons. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Yes. Charlie's a good man. And he has a smile. Even when he shouldn't. Thanks, Charlie. For the 2009 North American Passion Award, Huh? This is one of those pregnant pauses. Okay, get on with it! Alan Kinzel, please step up! I'm sorry I lied to you this morning. I told Alan this morning I might give a shout out to the program committee and it would be embarrassing if somebody from the program committee wasn't present, so I, I told him a lie. But Alan has been a volunteer on the program committee, the volunteer committee, the nomination committee. He's been working with PASS for five years. As the program manager for the 2009 program committee, he is fundamentally responsible for the sessions that you see here this week. We're talking about the call for abstracts, the definition of the tracks, reviewing the abstracts, working with the author, setting up the schedules, ensuring that the uh, PPTs are uploaded, all of the rest of that. It is hugely complicated. It is very controversial because I had to cry to get my session accepted. <laughs> Charlie, I had, I'm sorry, I had uh, breakfast with Alan this morning. He told me at the first of the week uh, he had to review 150 PowerPoints to be ready for the conference. That's the kind of work and dedication that these guys put in to make a successful conference for all of us. Thank you to Alan. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Right. Thank you, Wayne. Bye, Wayne. See you guys. OK. As I mentioned, we have a lot of exciting things happening today. So I'll point out a couple of things. One is the Women in Technology Luncheon. Every year for the last uh, seven years, this is the seventh year in which PASS is hosting the Women in Technology Luncheon. This is not just for women coming here. This is anyone who wants to attend, who wants to find out what are some of the concerns that women have in workplace. Uh, things about how to engage more women in technology. This is a great place to be, some great discussions. We have an exciting panel today as well. And the topic of discussion is energizing the next generation, inspiring uh, young women, encouraging and inspiring young women to choose a technology career. So if you are a father or a mother of a daughter, and you're interested in going and finding out how you're going to encourage this next generation, or if you're just an attendee that wants to listen to this, I encourage you to go to this event. And this is at 
uh, in 6C, which is right behind this. So make it a point to go. Another exciting thing that's happening is a uh, while back, about 53 MVPs got together and decided to uh, write a book. So they created this, uh, they wrote this book, they contributed to this book called SQL Server MVP Deep Dive. Uh, the proceeds, all the royalties, go towards a good cause, and uh, the cause for that is a war child. So this is a great thing. Uh, the MVPs uh, selflessly contributed, and uh, they are going to be available at 11.30 uh, to sign these books. So if you want to go help this cause, look at the great things the MVPs have written, uh, some great knowledge in this book, go to the bookstore, buy these books, and at 11.30, Go back uh, to uh, where the Microsoft TLC and the spot, uh, the uh, the uh, Chalk Talk Theater is, and get your book signed. All the MVPs, about 36 of these MVPs are here at the summit. They're going to spend their time there signing all your books. So please help this cause. And this is a great book as well. There's also a Q&A with the board. So if you want to meet the board members, you want to ask them questions, you want to ask them tough questions about PASS and how this organization is run. I encourage you to come at uh, 4.30 uh, to 6.15 uh, to meet with uh, the PASS board. And finally, don't forget the most exciting part of the day. After you have gone through all the sessions, all the slides, and all of that, go to Gameworks. This is going to be a fun time, a great party time. Don't forget your blue ribbons that you got at check-in, uh, the wristbands. You will not be able to get in without those wristbands. But come to the party. I think at least this is one place where there's free drinks. Uh, now you know. So I'll see you all at Gameworks. So now we're off to uh, an exciting keynote with Tom. But before that, after the keynote, Tom is going to answer questions on Twitter. So Tom is going to be around. And if you want to send a question to Twitter, to his Twitter account, go and follow MS SQL Server on Twitter, and then ask him questions right after the keynote. And he's going to sit and answer those. So this is a great opportunity. And don't forget to use the pound SQL pass tag as well, so everyone can follow those questions and the responses.